three weeks to go before the election, and the Chinese government has suddenly announced the suspension of tariff relief for 12 Taiwanese products that was instituted under a framework free trade deal known as ECFA. On Friday, Premier Chen Jianren accused China of economic coercion that is replete with political intentions. However, the impact of the suspensions is likely to be symbolic. According to a survey from the Economics Ministry, the hundreds of items slated for tariff relief under the ECFA account for less than 4% of Taiwanese exports. Academics, for their part, are pointing to the great uncertainties involved with doing business with China. I would also like to appeal to China here that it absolutely has to negotiate through the mechanisms and norms of the WTO. China is being unreasonable and is unilaterally stating that Taiwan has violated the provisions of the WTO and ECFA. In fact, this economic coercion has a high level of political intent. China announced on Thursday that starting next year, it will suspend tariff relief for 12 petrochemical items that was instituted under the ECFA, which will have some impact on the petrochemical industry. However, a survey from the Economics Ministry has found that the entire amount of products slated for tariff relief under the ECFA account for less than 4% of Taiwan's exports, so the impact will be limited. Exports are worth 18 billion US dollars, so the impact of this current case is limited. More importantly, everyone is very worried about large scale dumping by China's petrochemical industry. We have very many means of responding to this. What's sold to China is sold to many China-based Taiwanese business people. They have very good supply chain relationships with each other. Some of them won't go away just because of tariffs of 1 or 2 percent. It is not unusual for China to use economic means when it wants to engage in political manipulation. Scholars are pointing to China's past bans on Australian lobster and wine and bans on Czech and Lithuanian products from entering the Chinese market. They say the past can teach us a lesson. There are suspicions of election interference. Of course, this is very obvious. Doing business with China inherently involves extreme uncertainties. Long-term pain is worse than short-term pain. Keep right away from abusive partners. When the going is good, they can give you any special treatment you like. But when the going gets bad, they'll just revoke all the benefits they gave you. Scholars generally agree that China is clearly using economic means to sway the election in order to influence centrist and economically minded voters.